As most of you all know, Timmy Zell, he's a huge Elvis fan. This week, being the anniversary of Elvis' death in 1977, we've been looking back at some of the stories that Tim has done to honor the king. Today, we look back at an interview Tim did with a man who had a dream that Elvis had asked him to sing at his funeral a few weeks before Elvis passed away. Here's the story. Elvis has left the building. It's been more than 25 years since Elvis left the building for good on August 16, 1977. And it was a shock to almost everybody, except this man. Well, this is a dream that I had over 25 years ago. It was June 21, 1977, when Harold Wayne Ward had the dream. But I dreamed that he had come to my house, and he said, Wayne said, uh, I want you to play for this funeral. Take my hand, oh precious love, lead me home. I was playing and singing this song, uh, Take My Hand, Precious Lord. And I didn't see him right then, but I, I, I felt something or somebody come down this hallway. When he got this pretty close to me, I looked over. And it was Elvis Presley. As the dream continued, Wayne and the King began to sing the hymn together, and they were joined by Wayne's deceased father on violin and a choir. Wayne says the music moved the King to tears. And I said, uh, "Hey, but since uh, since you're here and, and you can sort of sing a bit better than I can, I said, why don't uh, why don't you just sing the song and I'll and I'll play it?" I said, "How's that?" He said, no, I said, it's not possible. And I said, why not? And he said, because the funeral you're playing for is mine. Precious love. At that point in the dream, Wayne says he saw a casket with Elvis inside in a white suit with a red shirt. He then woke up, and the next morning, he told the story to his mother. When she said, Wayne, she said, uh, it come to me, maybe you ought to try to call Elvis and, and uh, tell him about your doing. He couldn't reach the king by phone, so he wrote him a letter and sent a tape containing the song they had sung in the dream. He never heard from Elvis before he died, and he went on to write a tribute song to Elvis that he recorded at Sun Studios in Memphis in 1983. That was pretty much the end of it until this past October, when he was looking for some medical records and found this, a certified mail receipt marked June 27th, 1977, and signed by the recipient of the package, Elvis Presley. When I found his card and I showed it to Macias, and we started going through the stuff to see what else was in there, and we found the tape, and we found the, the letter. Wayne had sealed the original letter without including the tape and with the wrong address on it, so he rewrote the letter, but apparently he didn't throw away the first letter that remained unopened until now. To relive that again, I didn't want to do it. In the back of my mind, I know that he read that letter, he heard that tape.